Uh, welcome. We're going to talk about creating dot plots with Excel in this little video. Um, first thing about dot plots, remember that dot plots are a way to organize the data. So if we have values, whether they are qualitative or quantitative, it's okay. Uh, they'll be across the, the horizontal axis. And then the frequency or the amount of times that value appears will be kind of uh, marked up. Um, you know, uh, with if you were doing it by hand, you could use baby bottles or Christmas trees or anything you wanted to show how many times something is there. In Excel, we'll just use like uh, markers, if you will. Okay, so first off, uh, if we look in Excel here, we have ourselves a list of data in column A from 1 to 25. And the first thing we need to do with Excel is allow Excel to count up how many times each of those values appears in our data set. Now, again, we could do this by hand, but that's not very much fun. And if you had a really, really large data set, you wouldn't want to do it by hand. So we're going to use the count if formula. And we've used this before in frequency tables. So here in cell B1, I'm going to type in equals count if. We've seen this before. Now, inside here, I'm going to do a dollar sign, capital A, dollar sign 1. That tells me that my data set starts in A1. That's the purpose of that. Then we're going to do a dollar sign A1, comma A1. This tells us we're going to start in A1 and we're going to count down with A1. I'm, I don't know all of the details of why this matters, but it works. Okay, so the, the beginning dollar sign A1 is telling me where to start, and then we're counting with A1 and then going by ones in the A column. Pretty sure that's what it's about. So when I hit enter, you're going to notice it just gives me a one, because at this point, five appears one time. Now I can use the drag and drop piece here. So I'm going to use my cursor to go over that green square in the bottom right hand corner where it becomes a black plus sign. Then I'm going to click and drag all the way down to the end of my data set. Now you can see as we go down here, where five is now seeing, being seen a second time, you can see that now I'm at two. So that's what I want. Um, so column B is keeping track of the totals for each of my values. Now we're gonna go ahead and insert our graph. So I'm going to highlight my two columns because my values are in column A, my frequencies are in column B, and I'm gonna go up to the top to insert. And where the recommended charts here are in the middle, you can see the, the quadrant one that just looks like dots, right? That's a scatter plot. That's what we want to use. So I'm going to click this down arrow, and I'm going to click on this scatter with the dots. Boop! Ta -da! It created myself. It's kind of like a scatter diagram, but because of the count if, if formula, it created a dot plot. So I can double click in the chart title and rename this. I, it, you should have something better than dot plot, but you're going to notice on the horizontal axis are my values. In my data set in column A, I have values from 1 to 6. That is noted on the horizontal axis. And then on the vertical axis, that's the frequency, the number of times these points are seen. So num uh, 1 and 2, those values are only there one time, right? And here they are in 15 and 6, line 15 and 16, you can see those. Um, whereas 6, you can see is present seven times. Um, you can either count the dots, which each show, or the uh, the vertical height there, you can see the top dot is at seven, so my frequency is seven. So that is the point of a dot plot, to organize this data so that you can see at a glance how many times. It's really very similar, um, you know, kind of, it's kind of like a histogram or a bar graph, except instead of bars, we've got Right. But again, if you were doing it by hand, you could use stars or whatever you wanted because you're showing, you know, it's like a pictograph kind of a thing. Uh, you're giving a visual representation of the organization of your data. Pow. Dot plots in Excel.